How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with yet another review. Yeah. A little bit of, uh, I want to call it Beer Hall Lager from Hot Butcher for the World, but it looks like it's Lager Beer Hall. So my brain wants it, to, wants it to be Beer Hall Lager. Anyway, this is a traditional and select hot Fest Beer Lager. Um, that's interesting, actually. Tasting notes are crisp barley, lemon peel, and pleasant floral. Uh, they do not call out the hops on this. That's kind of unique. Um, Hot Pajet Nights, uber unique, but, um, you know, I can't remember the last beer I had from Hot Pajet where they actually didn't call the hops out on it. But you're talking about a traditional, um, you know, uh, fest beer kind of lager. Uh, so what are we looking at? 6.2% alcohol by volume. What are we looking at as far as hops go? Uh, Hallertau, Zaz, uh, Tetnang, stuff like that. That's what I assume is going on in here. It's got that kind of, that color you look for in a Fest beer. Uh, Label-wise, it's cool. Actually, one of my favorite labels as of late with Hot Butcher. Um, color-wise, it's what you want from a Fest beer, which is that kind of just the skosh below, uh, color-wise, below like your Marzen uh, kind of lager. But man, you kind of want a head on that thing. And this is just devoid of all head. That's kind of a poopy thing. Because uh, you'd expect it just to have this nice kind of vibrant kind of, just beery kind of head. Even when I try to slap it around and spill it all over the place, it doesn't even want to have a head on it. So, kind of a bummer there. We'll see how she actually plays in the nose itself. Yeah, a little bit on the fruity side, a little bit on the kind of tea-like kind of side when it comes to the hops. There's a nice kind of sweet maltiness to it that almost gets to a bready kind of portion of the show here. Yeah, I like the way the fruitiness comes off here. A little bit of subtle melon vibes, a little bit of the citrus in there. I like that bready, slightly bready kind of maltiness. Done and done. Still kind of a bum, bummer about that carbonation. Let's dive in and see what she tastes like. Cheers. That's actually pretty damn good. Pretty aggressive bittering, too. I mean, the way the bittering comes off and that cool. So, all over the place on this beer review. <laughs> um, you get this big punch of bittering on it. Way more than I expected based off of the nose. Nice punchy bitterness. Definitely has that kind of herbal, kind of tea-like kind of bitterness going on, but this kind of gets up there a little bit more aggressive and gives you a little bit of soft piney notes on it, which is quite nice. The malt comes off that soft, slightly bready kind of note to it. Little brown brown bread kind of vibe, but at a much smaller scale than what you expect as opposed to like a Marzen or a Bach or something like that. It's got a really nice mouthfeel. Honestly, that head not being there is it nearly as negative as I thought it was going to be based off of the way the look and kind of the nose kind of came off? It still has a carbonated mouthfeel to it, although the head just does not want to stick around at all. It has a nice density to it. Probably a little bit denser than where I want my Fest beer to sit. I want it to be a little bit more crispy, a little bit more chuggable, but I don't mind it. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. This went from, uh-oh. That head has kind of got me all kinds of worried to, I kind of like this thing quite a bit. Yeah, not too shabby of a beer. Um, especially, I mean, listen, you know me, I love lagers, so I tend to be a little bit harder on them. And Hop Butcher has been popping off these lagers quite a bit. I believe they got just a uh, lager and tank that they rotate lagers out of. Actually, I don't think, I know. You can go back and listen to the uh, episode we did on, um, on YouTube here, where a bunch of us sat around and talked to Jeremiah from Hop Butcher. But, um, yeah, I, I like the fact that they're ripping these out at least every two to four weeks. It's just a tasty effing beer, you know what I mean? If that head was pretty and beautiful and all the things you want from a nice kind of slow pour fest pills, fest beer, something along those lines, then it'd probably have the complete package going for it. But I'm not going to knock it too much because it smells pretty damn good and tastes pretty damn good. And I like that little bit of extra aggressive bittering that you typically don't get from a fest beer. It kind of gives that little bit of American twist on it. In a very fun way. Very hot butchery, if you will. It's got a cool kind of melon component, kind of. That was really cool, actually. It's kind of, kind of shot across my palate. I haven't even tasted anything for a little bit. But anyway, let's talk about this beer. This is one of the better, better fest beers I've had. I was like, it's worthy of being in a conversation. I skew uber traditional. So with the amount of fest beers I've had as of late, a lot of the ones I really dig on are the traditional ones. But this is a nice and Americanized version of that. It's not going to be uber traditional i mean they're going for a traditional a tradition and select hot it says tradition and select hopped so 
I read that wrong at the beginning. So they're doing traditional hops in their own selected hops. I should have read that better at the beginning. Fespier Lager. So they're doing their own spin on it and comes off in a very tasty way. Value availability. Hot butcher. And leave you with if you like what will you like this. If you like, you know, if you like uh, Fest beer, if you like Oktoberfest, if you like lagers, you like Marzins, those kind of beers, Vienna lagers. But you just want a little bit of an American twist on it. That's what you're going to get with this one. And a very tasty package. So there we go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out there in the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out there in the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little hot butcher right now. And hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.